Hey guys, LC Fever here, and welcome to the team of the season Pavlenka player review. So this is the team I started each game in, just to get chemistry with all my players. However, in game I switched this 4-1-2-1-2 narrow, started with Pavlenka in net, Piszczek, Socrates, top and Spelter in defence, Gay, Henderson, Jesus and team of the season Maris in midfield, and finally team of the season Sane and Gomez in strike. So Pavlenka is 6 foot 5 which is great because tall keepers play better most of the time when it comes to FIFA. He's got the traditional save technique, which doesn't really match his stats on the card, with diving and reflexes being his highest stat. And finally, he's got a freestyle weak foot, which is good for a keeper. Moving into the clips, I'll start with his positives. First off, his diving was really good. There was one instance where he just dived without moving first, but for the most part, it was really good. He dives well and has a long reach due to his height. Next, his reflexes. These really surprised me in game. Although this stat is his joint highest on the card, I'd say it's definitely the best part of his game. Whilst using him, he made multiple amazing quick reflex saves and double saves. His instant reactions to shots make him incredible in one-on-one situations, which is important for every FIFA player, no matter your level of skill. His handling was also better than his card suggests. He rarely pushed away slow shots, which reduced your chance of conceding rebound goals. Something I also noticed is that when he doesn't catch the ball, he either pushes it out of danger or he pushes it up into the air, which he then reaches with a second save. Whilst using him, I noticed that I didn't concede as many rebound goals, so overall, his handling and ability to clear the ball is great. Positioning is also another positive. I only conceded one long shot out of all the games I played with him, and this, like rebound goals, seems to be how I can see mostly in FIFA 18. His 90 positioning combined with his height means that your opponent will struggle to beat him from distance. The same also goes for crosses, he comes down, collects the ball well and holds on to it. I didn't feel there was any issue with his distribution. 86 kicking is decent enough for a goalkeeper, and other long throws and listing his in-game traits, he was able to throw the ball a fair distance. The final positive is his acceleration off the line. Similar to how Courtois played when rushing out from the goal, he instantly reacts to the manual control, which is a positive if you're someone who likes to have control of your keeper rushing out throughout the game. Now onto the first negative which is that once he's made the first initial save, he can be slow to get back onto his feet from time to time. Some keepers spring back up to their feet in order to make a quick potential second save, but on occasion where he doesn't clear the ball as well, Pavlenka can be slow to get back to his feet. And finally, the last negative, which is that sometimes he struggles to entirely block the ball. What I mean by this is say that your opponent takes a shot, Pavlenka would get behind the shot to make the save, however it still ends up in a goal because it bounces off him. It doesn't happen a lot, but I began to notice it more with Pavlenka, so this is something you might want to keep in mind when purchasing him. This sort of thing usually happens with low rated keepers, so this could be because he originally started out as a silver, but I'm not really sure why it happens to him more than other keepers of a similar rating. So overall I'm going to give Pavlenka an 8.5 out of 10. He managed to make some incredible game changing saves that you don't expect, and he reminds me a lot of De Gea. I haven't used Noya since the last update, and I'm yet to try the higher rated team of season Bundesliga goalkeeper but I'd be confident in saying that if I ran another Bundesliga team, he'd be a strong candidate for my goalkeeper position. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. And to request any future content, please leave it in the comment section below and I'll be sure to reply.